So evidently what took place is somebody f took that audio from that clip on the, uh, of the elevator and uh, interposed it onto the video on the floor um, as being the words that Diane actually said on the floor of House of Representatives. And we now know that is not the case. Uh, in, in my searching on the internet, I have been unable to find uh, any audio of uh, what Diane actually said on the floor. Honey, do you remember that night what you said or? Uh, just, I remember just uh, getting up to the podium and uh, after saying God will not be mocked, I, I don't have a, a memory of anything else that was said that evening until I was escorted off the floor. left scratching our heads and by this time I knew that the upper echelons of the U.S. government were worried about these things because I was under a constant 24-7 guard by Secret Service agents who kept a close eye on me every single day since late 2012. I did not go home, go to the grocery store, or wake up in the morning without the reality of knowing that I was being watched. Some very powerful high up people were keeping an eye on me and the work that we were doing regarding these objects. Although I was never told about this, uh, it was obvious. Uh, with what I saw going on around me and the personnel involved. So for nearly the entire year of 2013, we watched the skies in disbelief of what had occurred. We didn't know what was going on or where these things were. According to my calculations, these things would have been so close to us by now that we would have no problem seeing them in the night sky had they stayed visible to us. Uh, it wasn't until all of this commotion regarding the government shutdown particularly of all the space surveillance projects that I made some calls to see what was going on. The blackout of all space monitoring programs was essential to keeping the lid on what had happened. What I do know is that these objects reappeared sometime earlier this month and positioned themselves in a circular type alignment which allowed them to dock to the backside of the moon 